Let's take a closer look at the channel wires that appear in this design. Channel wires are a new feature of LabVIEW as of 2016. Here's one channel wire, and here is a second one, and here is a third one. The channel wires take on the same color as the underlying data type. Process loop number one contains a counter, as does process loop number two. The channel wire conveys the count value from the fast counter to the uh, equality test in process loop number two, and when the fast counter is equal to 10, the slow counter increments, and that fact is conveyed back to process loop number one, which then resets that counter back to zero. So we have this intercommunication between these two counters. The channel wire can be created by right-clicking on a conventional wire, and you say create channel writer. You'll notice that there's a variety of operations or various options that exist, and we see a very nice little graphic that helps to explain the distinguishing features of those. You'll notice that the little icon right here will look different depending on the type of channel writer that you're talking about. This version right here is known as the one element stream. So the writer places a value on the wire and that has to be read or consumed by the reader before this one can place another element on the wire. In contrast, the stream can write multiple values, which then can be read at, at a potentially different rate on the reader side. I'm using the tag version right there because it gives us the ability to have multiple readers and writers. The well, one element stream is always a source and a destination, and there's no other place for it to go. So the tag version basically allows us to write a single value out onto the wire that can be read by multiple devices. So there's our writer. There's one reader, and there is our second reader.